Well, I'm Jake here with another Busby Classics series episode. Of course, as you realize from that shot, this is featuring the Big Blast. This is kind of the the old modders go-to for getting ultra power out of a stock blaster assembly that you could find secondhand. Thrifting, whatever you could do to get your hands on one of these used to be the order of the day. Now, I'm not going to touch on the modding part because I'm, I don't want to see these destroyed for the internals like they were so many times and that's why now they're actually getting to be kind of rare because so many of them have been cut up. <laughs> but what was it originally? It originally came out in 2006, 2007, depending on the region, as a rough stuff blaster that came with two of the missiles and that was actually a nerf demolisher missile. It will fire them in stock form. This one is completely stock. It was sent to me courtesy of Damien Wisnett. So I want to say thank you to him. He made this video possible by sending me this blaster. And I highly appreciate that. Him and Ryan Engelstead have sent me a couple blasters. And now Rick Moon also sent a couple to add that will be featured on this series. And I definitely want to make sure that all three get the thanks, but Damien Wisnett sent this to me, and now it gets its time to shine. The Big Blast claimed a 30-foot range with Busby's missiles, and it, it would hit that. Of course, you're talking about 30-foot range at an angle, full pumps, ideal conditions. The amount of power that was available in this thing was actually pretty good, and this specific one here is a 2007 model, and as you see, it still has good power. I have not tore this down. It does have a leak, but this thing, 15 years later, still packs a punch. That's how good it was in the day. Now, these things were everywhere when I first got into nerfing, because I got into it when I was still in school in 2004, 2005, and I had one of these, and I loved it. I also had a one I got from KB Toys that I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was also, I had one of these, I had one of that, and they were so much fun to run around, and we made it an insta-kill. If you got hit with one of these, you're done. No respawns and nothing. Just, you're out. Which I find to be a, a really good thing. It made somebody carrying one of these, it made it valuable. You, know, you could actually slowly eliminate a team if somebody was willing to run one of these. But this showed up as a rough stuff blaster. And it did make a uh, reshelled, recolored appearance in 2008. And then again in 2010. And 2010 is seen actually appear as a Lego branded blaster. It was called, they called it the Harpoon Blaster. I've never seen one in person. But if we ever did a blaster themed on Legos, makes me think of Captain Xavier. If, if you ever get one, either me or him. Probably, it probably should go to him because that's his thing. Blasters and Legos together. That just sounds like perfectly fixated for a uh, item to go straight to Captain Xavier for him to check out. But, the Big Blast. What is it? Does it have a place? Whether in history or today, which is what this series is about. Just looking back at a blaster. Well, it's got a place in history as a very effective... And better than most most things that Nerf has came out, the Titan is, of course, an option that Nerf produced that was actually very good. But since then, all Nerf's done is subpar hamps that this thing still outperforms. Like the Demolisher today, you take a big blast over a Demolisher any day of the week, and these things were not expensive. They are now. <laughs> of course, because these are so sought after. And this color scheme, of course, is the original and is my favorite. So, I'm actually thankful to have it, because th this is what I think Bosby should do, is this one should make a return in the classic colors. And, and or an updated color scheme that kind of mimics some of my Hydra Dips I've been doing with some Busby Blasters, with the black and yellow. This thing is a true classic. And this is kind of what I, I envisioned with the uh, whole start of this series, is something 
to make sure that people don't forget about how good some of these blasters were, or how unique or wild or crazy. Keep bumping, keep bumping. And then, that actually ricocheted all the way across my garage workshop and then back again. But it still got a punch. But the Busby Big Blast first showed up in 2006, 2007, depending on your region. And it recolored into 2008 and then recolored again and released as a Lego Blaster in 2010. But depending on whatever version you got, they're extremely sought after, extremely valuable. Don't, don't ever pass up one if you find one thrifting. No matter if you want it as it is or no matter if you want to resell it, these things are treasures. And I, I absolutely mean that to the fullest. This is a treasure to find if you are thrifting or in second hand or yard sailing. Don't ever pass up a Busby Big Blast. Never. <laughs> but Smug Shake with Busby Classics. Hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for watching. This is one of my most fun series to do where it's just me looking at something from the past that I really loved. I mean this is this is my childhood. And it's part of what made me love Busby so much. If nobody has realized that yet. It's like I grew up with this. And, and this just makes me happy. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. And until next time, Smonger Shake with the Classic Series. Thanks for watching.